I think... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I just have to find out where that is. Fire service has mainly been seen as a male-dominated field, but recently more women have taken the challenge to become firefighters. They make up only about 4% of firefighters in America. Here female in firefighters are stepping up despite the unique challenges they face. Why? And how a few women in the Valley are hoping to be trailblazers for the next generation of first responders. My name is Genevieve Holden and I am ranked as a firefighter so I just graduated mid-December last year and I am at City of Sydney Fire Station. For a very long time I've wanted to be a firefighter. Probably growing up I didn't actually think that it was a, a job that women did really. As a female firefighter Genevieve is a bit of a trailblazer. Although women in New South Wales have been able to work as firefighters since 1985, they're still very much a minority. As high as you can. Yeah. As high Go as you Jen. can. As high as you can. Take a bigger run up. Come on, Jane. Remember the elbow. Wow. Big run, as fast as you can. That's and like high. High. Oh, high. High. Oh, high. So close. As fast as you can. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. I get asked that quite yeah. a lot. Oh, can you lift people? Oh, she's not big enough, or I'm not big enough, I'm not strong enough. So, oh, so you're a fireman lady person. It's, it's not a job for women, but it absolutely is. Why wouldn't it be? Why couldn't it be? No. No, not at all. People think that because you're female, you almost get a bit of a boost when you join, um, but it's just not mm. the case. And I've seen some uh, women that come through training who've outperformed uh, men. There are certain programs out there to try and get women to that level of fitness. What's perhaps more important is their sort of, their personality and their character, because to, to an extent you can't really change that. Fitness, we can help people along the way with fitness. Having women on the truck is vital to handling some emergencies. There's been multiple calls where I've felt like 
the customer is a lot more comfortable talking to a female. If half the people needing help are women, it only makes sense to have one on the scene. Sometimes they just don't want to, they don't want to talk to them. They'd rather talk to me and it makes our calls go smoother. It makes them feel more comfortable. A review in 2010 found that sexual or suggestive remarks, emails and letters were a particular issue among females. Discrimination based on gender is still a major issue within the brigades. There is a pervading boys club mentality within the organisation with a lack of support networks in place for female firefighters. Despite the damning report, the culture didn't really change. It prompted the then commissioner to put all staff on notice and send this email in 2014. I am particularly concerned about suggestions that we are dropping standards and employing women incapable of being firefighters. If you simply don't like working with a more diverse group, then you need to start looking for a new job. We are just a stronger department by being diverse and I think that's being a female is just one small component of that. We are every bit as capable of doing the job as the men are.